you sleep in your car five days a week? Yes. Because of the traffic. Because definitely I can't go home. Oh, we are in the heart of a traffic jam in the most notorious city when it comes to traffic jams. Ten months ago, I returned to Europe from a very long and exhausting trip in Africa. I almost died and I said to myself, this was enough, Peter. No more Africa. That's why I'm going to Croatia at this moment and I can't wait to shoot a very exciting video from the beaches. I'll be laying down and I will be doing nothing. So, so excited. I'm just kidding. Welcome to Lagos, Nigeria. waited for over an hour for the baggage but we got it welcome to Africa I guess we're starting in Lagos with a population of over 20 million it is the biggest city in the entire African continent Morning. I think we live in a very up. <laughs> I think we live in a very upscale part of Lagos with luxurious buildings like this. This particular one is owned by the famous Nigerian prince that definitely sent an email to you promising to make you a lot of money. But we want to experience the real buzz, the madness, the the real Nigeria. That's why. <clears throat> That's why we're going to the Idemuta market, the biggest market of Lagos. Our Uber should be here in four minutes. Yeah, they have Uber here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Is it madness, the market? Yes, yes. <laughs> Idumota market, one of the largest and oldest markets in the continent. You can literally find anything here, from freshly cut pigs feet to DVDs with the latest Nigerian films. However, the main characteristic of the Idumota market is the terrible, terrible, really terrible chaos. How are you? This is the first time in Africa, people actually like me Hello. to take wow. pictures of them. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi. This is the first time ever people like to be on a camera. That's incredible. I love this. How to get a girl's number without being super creepy about it. Teresa. Teresa, yes. which country are you? Czech Republic. What? Czech Republic? Czech, yes. Would you like to be my friend? Do you have a number? Yes, I have a number. I can get your number. Okay, give me your number. I will be calling you. I want your number. Give me your number. I need it. It's plus. Eight, eight, okay, wait. Four, five. What? Four, four, five. Four, four, five. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Check it. Check it. And that's it. You are automatically going to set yourself apart from other guys. <laughs> This is what happens when you go to Nigeria with your beautiful girlfriend. This is Lego. Perfect. Teresa's taking a picture with a baby. That's so bizarre. Yeah, video, video. He wants to video. But wait, I need to drop the. Sit there. What does my husband say? Don't let it. Don't let it. Teresa's future husband, I suppose. Wow, that's yeah, lovely. Yeah, exactly. A Nigerian African yeah. hip hop music. Yeah. <laughs> this is my guy. He's the whiskey, you know, brother. Yeah, whiskey. Yeah, that's the whiskey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 
We are in the center of a total madness, but we fucking love it. Ash Papi, Ash Papi, that is Juno Boda, yes. Ash Papi, the Gucci fans. Ash Papi, Ash Papi, Ash Papi. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Wow, that was probably the most intense five minutes of my entire life. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? <laughs> he asked, what is the meaning of this? A philosopher. This has been great so far, but we need to take a rest because we've been walking through these madness for like two hours. Everybody's saying hi, everybody's saying how you doing, how far which is, I guess, how you doing in Nigerian. It's great, it's really great, we love it, but we need to take a rest because it's really humid and hot today. It's a bit too much after two hours, but Lagos, we love you. Okay, enough rest. Let's find the most beautiful football jersey in the entire world. Nigerian football jerseys. That's what I like. From all the football jerseys in the World Cup, Nigeria has the most beautiful one. Look at this. It is considered as the most beautiful one from all the jerseys. And since I'm here in Lagos, Nigeria, I have to buy it. I just have to buy it. are going to a restaurant supposedly a guy who we met randomly at the market is taking us to a restaurant I'm not sure if we're heading to a restaurant because this this street is very narrow and not crowded at all but let's hope fingers crossed so we're going to the restaurant yes 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 Fufu. and we have African food here. okay Finally, after nine months of eating fufu, this is Africa, ladies and gentlemen. This weird stuff from cassava dough, I miss this so much. I'm having it with a very spicy sauce, with goat meat and some kind of leaves that look a little bit inedible, but they are very delicious. This is the national dish of Nigeria. I think it can be considered as a national dish of Africa because it's very popular in almost every African country and it's, it's, it's just delicious. This will hurt a little bit on a toilet but I really don't care. Lagos may be known for its crazy markets and grandiose buildings but its real charm are the traffic jams. They are on the menu every single day. Traffic is slow, dense, nerve-wracking. And you're stuck in your car for hours. <sighs> My baby's coming home The madness doesn't end here. We want to show you the real traffic jam of Lagos. So we are going to a place called Makoko and we're supposed to experience one of the worst traffic jams a man can imagine. of a traffic jam in the most notorious city when it comes to traffic jams in the most notorious country when it comes to traffic jams in the most notorious continent when it comes to traffic jams it may sound strange but I'm kind of enjoying this situation <laughs> if we want to experience a huge traffic jam I think we should go the other way 
so we may experience the huge one on the way back. So hold up in front of us as I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Good for Can us. I zoom in? Yeah, this this shows that there's a huge traffic jam yes. in front of us. Yes. Not a surprise, Lagos. I heard that some people need to wake up at like 3 or 4 a.m. Yes. In order to come to work at like 8 a.m. So it takes like 3 or 4 hours for them sure. during morning to get to work. Yes, That's it's true. Crazy. Like, That's it's crazy. Very, it's very true. Like me, I'm doing Uber now. Mm -hmm. I don't normally go home. Mm -hmm. My home is far away from here. Okay. So what I do is that I have my luggage inside my boots. Mm -hmm. My sponge is there. My Vaseline is here. Okay. My this is my deodorant. Okay. <laughs> so you sleep in the car? Yeah, this is my this is my Vaseline for my wow. body to rub, to to clean my body. Wow. And my clothes are in the boots, my wow. sponge and everything, my toothbrush. You sleep at, in your car? Yes, I sleep in the car. Five days a week. Yes. Because of the traffic. Because definitely I can't go home. <laughs> and I expect myself wow. to come out early in the morning. I won't be able to make anything. That's incredible. That's crazy. Yeah, I'll give you 2,000, it's fine. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Bye bye. The comment I'm actually looking for is I, I made your deal, something like that. I would like that. Okay. Sure. Alright. Yeah. I'll give you five stars and a nice comment. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.